All right, today we're talking about something. It's a fundamental of testing electricity. It's one of the main procedures, like one out of three procedures that you're really going to be using when you're looking for voltage problems. Uh, in 99% of the circumstances, you don't really need to use uh, ohms. Um, manufacturers tell you to check ohms, but it, it's it's really stupid because if you have corrosion you can have excessive amounts of corrosion that don't show up a problem when you're checking for uh, resistance and then when you when you put pressure through it the voltage when you put pressure through it uh, you get a voltage drop um, anyways ohm doesn't work real well when you're checking for vehicle uh, components just checking for ohms it's one of those things that the manufacturer tells you to do, but it's also another one of those things that it, it's it's kind of like they're just throwing information out there. It's it's not like they really even want you to fix it your own. Uh, you just gotta kind of know. They're giving this information to people that know about cars, and they're using that information. And they already know, so they're not even really using that information. Anyways, um, this is one of the voltage testing fundamentals. Uh, it's called ghost. ghost voltage it's really when you're checking for good powers and grounds and you want to make sure a component's receiving good powers and grounds um, it's called ghost voltage basically what it is um, I'll turn this on it's at 20 it's on I'm on DC 20 right now so I got the two test leads right here and uh, you can see this meter is a crappy meter it's a real cheap it's not even cheap it's free um, but once you get used to using any multimeter and you know the way if you know that sitting touching nothing on this multimeter is giving you that then you know that's what it's supposed to be reading if you're using a more expensive multimeter it's probably going to show closer to zero but nevertheless this meter is going to work for what we need to show it ghost voltage is basically like when we're doing like a, a ground to ground uh, voltage we're doing, we want to do ground to ground check basically so we hook this up to the ground I'm just hooking it directly to the ground on the the battery positive and uh, <clears throat> so the confusion is basically I got a good ground I know I got a good ground over there I just directly hooked up that negative cable to a good ground and then on this one here you are probing around you're sticking wires you're, you're poking wires and you're poking into something that has is a good ground. You poke in the back of something, or you poke the front of it, or whatever. And you're saying, and you look at your meter, and you say, okay, that's a good ground. But if you notice right now, what I'm showing you right now, this isn't touching anything. It's not touching a good ground. It's not touching a good power. And we want to double check our our, our test lead right here. I'm going to touch this test lead to the bot, uh, battery positive. And. Uh, just to make sure that we got our test lead working properly and we do so we got the 12.87 right there nice fully charged battery um, so we know this test leads hooked up correctly um, but once again like I said if you're you're looking you're probing wires and you stick it into a wire that's supposed to be a ground and you see that right there and you say okay that's a good ground but that's really a false indication of a good ground because even if we're not hooked up to anything with this thing, even if we're not hooked up to anything, as you can see right now, I'm not touching anything with it, it shows a good ground. You understand what I'm saying? So basically, that's that's basically like, uh, <clears throat> that's what we're talking about when we're talking about ghost, ghost voltage. And uh, a real easy thing to, to do when you're checking for ghost voltage is, uh, like, if you're plugged into the wire and you get that, what you could do is you could drop this down like that. Now it's going to read a little bit smaller measurements. Now, shake the cable around like this, and you see how much it's jumping. I mean, it jumps to minus 10 to, to plus 10 to... It jumps all over the place. You could even put a little bit of electricity through your body. It's jumping from plus 10... I mean, it's jumping like crazy. So, now what I want to do is I'm going to hook this up to a good known ground, which in this case it will just be the, the battery 
uh, negative. And then I'm just going to hook it up to the battery negative. And then you see, like I said about checking our, our multimeter in the beginning, we know that's basically how this meter reads, so it's good. So now shake the wires. Now I'm shaking the wires, the same as I did. You notice that there is no fluctuation right there? There is absolutely no fluctuation in that. Now I'm going to take it off the battery positive, the, the battery negative right here. Okay, now I'm going to look at it, then I'm going to shake it again. Now you see it jump around like that? That's telling you, if you plug this into a wire, and you're checking for a good ground, and then you shake this, these leads like that, and you see it do that, you're not actually tapped into a good ground. Maybe it's, it's either not a good ground, or your wire is not directly connected to the good ground. I'm going to find another ground. I'll just find a bolt that's on this vehicle right here. I'm just going to stick it to a volt, bolt. And then I'm going to shake the lead. I'm shaking the lead. Okay. You can see it's a good ground. That's a good ground. So, when you plug into a wire... You're going to plug into a wire that, let's say it's the it's the controlled ground from a fuel injector. Actually, I'll show it to you right now. I got a fuel injector unplugged. Um, actually, I'm going to show you right now, and, and you can make up your mind um, what you think it is. This is what it looks like connected to no ground. So I'm going to go take this off screen, and I'm going to ask you whether I'm connected to a good ground or not. So I'm either right now connected to a good ground or not a good ground. And what I'm going to do is shake the lead. And you're going to make the decision whether I am connected to a good ground or not. Here I'm shaking the lead. Do you think I'm connected to a good ground? And in this case the answer is going to be, if you just listen to what I said, the answer is going to be no. I'm not connected to a good ground because you see the way it fluctuates like that. You didn't even see me off screen where I was connected this off to. Um, I guess we'll do the fuel injector real quick. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to tap into the, the ground, the switch, the control. It switched ground, the computer grounds to complete the circuits. Two wires for this fuel injector. You got the 12 volt feed from the, from the uh, fuse and then it's when you turn the key on you got the 12 volts going to the fuel injector and then it's waiting for the control from the computer when you start the car when you start the car the computer pulses the the fuel injector ground so this is in one instance that we would be checking for a ground we obviously don't want a full ground going to the to the control wire on a um on a fuel injector when the car is not running so this is one of the one of the things that we would use this for and then I'm gonna tap into it and then you're gonna tell me what you think whether you think it is a, a good connection to ground or not so right now what I'm doing is I'm tapping in to the control wire of a fill injector Now, I'm touching that wire. Now I'm shaking the leads. So, to me, that's good. That means that we don't have a full ground, because you've seen it jumping around the way it was jumping around. That means that that's not grounded because it's not supposed to be fully grounded at any point. The computer controls the ground with a pulse, a uh, pulse width modulated. The computer controls that ground with the pulse. Um, obviously, you don't want to be giving it a full ground. If you gave that uh, fuel injector a full ground, it'd be shooting straight fuel all the way through it. Um, that's basically ghost voltage is what you saw when we plugged into that fuel injector. That fuel injector was plugged in to that fuel injector. We're testing the wire. You shake the leads and you see that it fluctuates. So we know that that fuel injector is not really grounded. In some certain circumstances, 
it might be a little bit off and, and you would have to do further tests you would want to uh you want to load that ground but it's a good first uh test now um right here i got the scope i got the scope hooked up it's really uh um I'm zoomed in each each uh, frame you see here <clears throat> actually each square from here to here that's 500 millivolts so we got a half volt between here between here and here is one volt so if I touch battery positive it's gonna shoot right off the screen but we want to see detail in the in the ground right here um, right now I have this hooked up right here um, the negative side is hooked up to the battery ground and then um so I want to show you something though this is this shows you what I just showed you with the multimeter with the voltmeter but this shows you more in depth watch when I touch it though that's just the the, the voltage from my body this is voltage from my body that you're seeing right there okay so it's basically the same test that we were doing with the, the voltmeter, except we're using the scope and you can see a little bit more detail. So I'm going to leave this sit for a second. Now let me shake it. Watch. Let me shake this lead. You see it clear off? Watch. Shake the lead. You see the fluctuation? Actually, let me zoom in a little bit. So the lead's not touching anything, the positive lead on this, this scope. Now watch when I shake it. See it shake? You can see it ripples, the ripples. And then when I touch, touch it, you can see the voltage from my body itself. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hook this up to a good ground. I'm going to hook that up to a good ground. Okay? I currently have it hooked up to a good ground. I'm going to touch it with my finger like I just did right now and see what happens. I'm touching it. Currently right now I am touching that wire with it hooked up to a good ground. You notice it doesn't change. That tells you right there that it is a good ground. This is another test that you could do when you're checking for uh, when you're checking for good ground. All I would have to do is hook up to that positive, hook up to that fuel injector. And if it sits like that, and then when I try to touch that fuel injector, if it doesn't do anything, then what we're looking at is basically a good ground. That would be a bad thing if it's the fuel injector, because like I said before, we don't want a good ground on that fuel injector at all times. I guess what I can do right now is I will do that. I'm going to test the, the fuel injector. Let me get the fuel injector. I'm going to back probe it, and then uh, what I'm going to do is, so I'm back probing this fuel injector right now. Okay. And then, I'm going to get the lead. I'm going to touch it right here. So I got it hooked up. I have it hooked up to that fuel injector, to the control wire on the fuel injector. Even though it's hooked up to control wire on the fuel injector, when I touch it, it does that. That's showing you, when I'm touching that right there, it's not a good ground. And in this circumstance, we don't want a good ground because if it was a good ground, that's a bad thing. But because I touch it, and I see that happening when I'm touching it, that tells us, that that control wire is not grounded currently, or at least it's not really a good ground. That's basically ghost voltage. Ghost voltage is basically when you hook this up, you're checking for grounds, you're checking for powers, you're checking for grounds, and a lot of people get confused. I'll hook this up to the battery, negative. So here I go. I'm searching around. I'm searching for a good ground. Anytime I find a good ground, I should see low voltage right here. So I plug into a wire and I'm looking at that. I'm saying, oh, that's good. That's a good ground. No, I'm not even plugged into the wire in actuality. 
I'm not even touching the wire in actuality because I'm, I'm plugging into it. And uh, basically that's what it is. You're either plugged into a wire, back probing a wire, and you're not even actually touching the back of the wire. And you read it and it's a false reading because in your mind you see zero volts so you see it that it's good, that it's good ground. That's basically what ghost voltage is. You tap into a wire, you read that, and that wire may be open, touching no ground. It maybe should be a ground. It should be a ground, but it's open, it's cut open. And because it's cut open, you read what we're reading now, which is this touching nothing. And you falsely take that as being a good ground. So we use what's called ghost voltage, is what shaking these wires and you see the fluctuation see it fluctuating or when I touch it it fluctuates that's basically ghost voltage so anyways uh hope you guys learned something hope it cleared up a couple of things this is some of the things that I found that was interesting some of the things that uh, when I first was beginning out with testing voltage and everything was confusing to me at first because I was thinking the same thing. If I plug into a wire and it's not connected to anything, how am I going to know it's actually good ground? And all, all, obviously you can, uh, one of the other things you could do, you could hook this up to the battery pause and then you could be poking around with the other one. But in some circumstances, that's not always the greatest thing. That's just, uh, this voltage testing fundamental ghost voltage is something that you got to know that happens it's something that you should recognize it's something that you got to know what's going on so anyways thanks for watching comment rate subscribe